Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of 53 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. Now, just a few seconds ago, we did start to throttle down the engines, reducing the speed by decreasing the flow of the fuel to the engines. That's in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we should be passing through max Q here in a few seconds. And we've now passed through max Q. So with that, we now have four events happening in quick succession. That'll be main engine cutoff, or MIGO, stage separation, second stage engine start one, or SES-1, and then followed by fairing deploy on the second stage. Now, main engine cutoff, or MIGO, is where all nine of those M1D engines will shut down, and that'll slow the vehicle down in preparation for that second event, stage separation. Stage separation is where the first and second stage separate from each other. And right after stage separation, the first stage will start to make its way back to Earth for landing. And while we are able to land on land uh, or on, at sea on our drone ship, we will be attempting to recover the first stage tonight on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. And while this is happening, stage two will continue on its journey with the third event, SES-1, or second stage engine start one. And that's where the MVAC engine will light up and propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. And just a few seconds after that, we'll be fairing deploy. Really awesome night views tonight. We saw Miko, main engine cut off on that first stage. Uh, we have the first stage on your left-hand screen, second stage on your right-hand screen. We did see the fairing halves deploy from the second stage. Now, while SpaceX has reflown Falcon fairing halves since 2019, as previously mentioned, one of the fairing halves on tonight's mission is flying for the fourth time and the other for the second time, and we'll be attempting to recover the halves again tonight on our recovery vessel, Doug. Now, first stage on your left-hand screen is making its way back to our drone ship. Just read the instructions. And on your right-hand screen, the second stage is currently on a nominal trajectory. Now, as stage two heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit, stage one will complete two burns in order to make its way back to Earth, the first of which is the entry burn. That's where three of nine M1D engines reignite and help slow the stage down as it re-enters into the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Now, the second will be the final burn for the first stage, and that's the landing burn. Now, this is just a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. And again, these Merlin engines have 190,000 pounds of thrust, so that one single engine is just enough to help, to help the vehicle touch down for landing. Now, if you're just now joining us, we've had a successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station's Slick 40. Right now, you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9's second stage on your right-hand screen, the first stage on your left-hand screen, and it's currently making its way back to our drone ship. Just read the instructions. This is our 42nd launch of Starlink satellites overall. SpaceX's 11th launch in the first 11 weeks of 2022 is the eighth Starlink mission of 2022 and the 149th total overall SpaceX launch, which includes Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. And we're just about a minute away from that entry burn on the first stage. Second stage is still looking good on a nominal trajectory.
Now it is nighttime, so a bit hard to see on the left-hand side, but you can see the grid fins on the first stage. There's four hypersonic grid fins on the first stage that help to guide the vehicle uh, back to the landing zone. Again, tonight it will be on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. And we're just a few seconds away from the entry burn beginning on the first stage. And as you can see, your left-hand screen lighting up, that is these three engines reigniting for this entry burn. This should last about 20 seconds long and help slow the vehicle down as it's entering back into the Earth's atmosphere. And as those engines shut off, that concludes the entry burn on the first stage. Now we are just about a minute or so away from the landing burn on the first stage. Again, that is just a single engine burn to help slow the vehicle down enough to touch down on our landing zone. That burn lasts about uh, 20 seconds long as well. And just about 20 seconds after that, uh, we should have SECO one or second stage engine cutoff one on the second stage. Again, everything's still looking nominal on the second stage. Some great views of the MVAC engine on your screen. The MVAC engine is optimized for 220,500 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. It's a pretty powerful engine that you're seeing there on your screen. And we are just a few seconds away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage. And there you can see on your left hand screen that landing burn has begun. So let's see if we can land the first stage for a 12th time. We had some great views, waiting for confirmation of first stage touchdown. And there you can see it on your screen. Falcon 9 has touched down for this booster's 12th time. This marks our 104th successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage.